Come and sit on the mat in Sukhasana, cross legs, closing your eyes down, turning your palms up one at a time, gesturing to the universe that you're open to receive higher energy. Feel through the sit bones the connection to Mother Earth, grounding down. And as you allow Mother Earth to take your weight, to hold you up, unburden yourself. Feel the support. Draw the awareness into the spinal column. Start to lengthen up through the spine as if you want to create space between each individual vertebrae. Through the front body, draw the ribs back towards the spinal column and lift and open your heart centre to receive even more higher energy. You'll notice the length coming through the middle back, drawing up into the neck. There's a slight tuck of the chin towards the chest to ensure that the neck is long, lengthened. Continue your awareness to the crown of the head. Feel the opening to Father Sky, allowing all the higher ideas and inspiration to filter down from above. Practicing Pratyahara with drawing your senses from the world around you and tuning in to the world within you. Allow yourself to scan through the different layers of your being. Notice the physical body, tuning in to all the sensations within without the need to judge good or bad, just simply observing what is. As your awareness expands out to observe the mental body, the thinking self, as though you were watching someone else's thought process. mind is racing. There's a lot of analysing, problem solving, planning. Or perhaps there's space between your thoughts. Either way, not judging good nor bad, just observing what is. And tuning into your spiritual body that less tangible layer of our being, just here to observe if we're feeling spiritually connected, uplifted, inspired, or perhaps in this moment you're aware that you're feeling spiritually flat. Nothing is right or wrong. Just by switching on the light of awareness, healing has already begun. We learn in our yoga practice not to judge ourselves, but just to simply experience what is. And by becoming attuned to ourselves, we automatically transform. Notice your breath now. Your breath will always reflect the way you are feeling. Let's employ the full yoga breath, Maharaja Pranayama. Inhaling, drawing the life force energy, the prana, in through the nose. As you relax, expand into your lower belly. Fill with the breath, allowing the ribs to expand, the chest to fill as the breath reaches the collarbones. Commencing your exhalation, Allowing that energy to drain all the way back down and a slight contraction of the lower belly at the end of the exhalation. The new inhalation blossoming through the lower belly, filling, expanding your torso, breath rises. 
As the breath reaches the collarbones, exhale, letting go. Surrender back to the universe what no longer serves your higher good. And continue to breathe. It's very important that we make the in breath even to the out breath. And through the evenness of breath, we bring tranquility, stillness into the mind. As your mind becomes still, you have an opportunity to observe your true self your soul nature that sits behind the screen of that ever-chattering mind as if you've come home to yourself the reconnection to your loving joyous peaceful spirit continue to have the mind resting upon the breath throughout the entire practice a practice we will call dharana, our yogi way of having an object of concentration, ensuring that the mind will remain still. And this will keep a lightness through your practice as you continue to observe yourself without judgment. And you listen, you feel through the layers of the body as we move through the asanas, the postures, we learn about our metaphysical self. We gently open the eyes and outstretch the arms and fingers, inhaling, drawing the arms up and above the head. Exhale, bring the hands down through prayer pose and the gaze can just stay fixed on the hands. Inhale, press those arms up, squeeze the forearms together, elbows apart. Exhale, gaze to the floor, interlace the fingers at the lower back. Inhale, squeezing the shoulder blades together, extending the arms away, gazing up. Exhale, fold your way down, keep the sit bones connected to the floor. Draw the arms up as it feels right, extending through the spinal column, bowing the head. Inhale, drawing yourself up. Arms sweep up and around the body. Exhale, bringing the hands down through prayer pose. Inhale, draw those arms back up. Squeeze the forearms together, elbows apart. Exhale, left hand or forearm to the earth. Extend over with that right arm. Inhale, pressing down through the right hip, length through the spine. Exhale, revolve from the navel center, right shoulder blade down the back. And if it suits your neck, gaze into the underside of your arm and beyond. Inhale, sit your way up. Exhale, right hand or forearm to the earth, extending over with the left arm. Inhale, press down through the left hip, extend the energy along the spine. Exhale, revolve from the navel center, top shoulder blade down the back. As you gaze into the heavens, become hopeful and inspired. Inhale, draw your way up. Exhale, press those hands forward. Round back down through the sit bones, inhale, length through the spine, really open through the chest, ignite the heart chakra, and then exhale, bowing the head, drawing the shoulder blades down your back, harnessing the energy through the arm meridian. Inhale, looking up, bringing your way over and onto those knees. Walk your hands back, Draw yourself up into a squat. Inhale and then exhale. Extend the sit bones into the sky. Come into supported Uttanasana. Feet are hip width apart. Holding onto your forearms and letting go. Straight or bent knees. Just see what suits your body today. 
You want to fan out through all the toes, broaden the feet, rolling the thighs in and towards each other. And just notice how that lifts the energy through the quadriceps. You'll feel that line coming up just through the outer part of the knee, the stomach meridian. Inhale for those who are going deeper, Uddiyana Bandha, suction the belly up into the ribs. And then exhale, you've got space to go into a deeper fold. Point the crown chakra towards the earth. Allow all that excess thinking to tumble out of the head as you return to the present moment where all the power truly is. And you feel a sense of restfulness come into your being. The weight of the world tumbles off the shoulders. For those of you who are going deeper again, inhale Uddiyana Bandha and also tilt, separate the sit bones towards the sky, ground the heels. Listen to the consciousness rising up from deep within. Learn to trust your feelings as your guide through your life. Pressing down through your feet. Inhale, draw the arms out from the side body. Mula Bandha helps you to come upright. So seal that energy from the perineum to the navel. As you look up between the hands, tuck under through the hips, ribs back towards the spinal column. Exhale. Come down through Tadasana, stepping those feet together. Find your alignment through Tadasana. It will be a good reminder for you to find alignment in all your other poses. Fanning out through your toes, rolling the outside edges of the feet into the earth, lifting up through the inner arches, and powering down through the four corners of the feet. So through the balls of the feet, and then through either side of the heels of the feet. Harness that energy upwards through the legs as if every fiber of the legs was drawing up that beautiful earth energy. Kneecaps are lifting, thighs rolling in and towards each other. Find a neutral pelvic bowl and then harness that energy upwards through the spinal column. You want to allow that tailbone to really point right down into the earth and as you do so, draw your ribs back towards your spine, lift and open your heart center. Soften out through your shoulders, energy right out through the arms to the ends of the fingers. Find that neutral position for the head. So maybe it's a slight tuck of the chin towards the chest and you'll feel the neck lengthen and all the energy move upwards to radiate out of the crown chakra. Have a sense of the internal meridians opening. Those internal energy lines that run upwards towards the heavens and also move downwards towards the earth. So this crisscrossing of energy internally moving through your organs, providing healing. For those of you who are more cosmically minded, have a sense of the equal connection to the two divine realms, to the earth below you, to the heavens above you. Consider for a moment what that means for you as this beautiful child of the universe. This divine channel, allow yourself to receive. And in receiving, know that it would be easier to give of that higher energy. Coming up to the front of the mat for our first vinyasa. Inhale, drawing the arms up and above the head. Exhale and fold Uttanasana, straight or bent knees. Roll the chest in and the head follows. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Ribs draw towards the spine. Tilt the sit bones, ground the heels. Exhale, flatter the hand, middle fingers face forward. Step the feet back one at a time, keeping the shoulders over the wrists. Heels are back, navel draws towards the spine, soften the buttocks. Inhale, run the energy through the back body, heels lift, squeeze the elbows in Chaturanga Dandasana or come all the way to the floor. Breath into those hands, inhale, upward facing dog, draw the kneecaps up, pull the back of the arms into the side body. Exhale, press into your hands, downward facing dog. Hanging out here and breathing. You can play with the pose, particularly on your first few down dogs. You might find you want to walk the dog. 
just to run that heat and energy through the back of the legs. You might be comfortable in a still pose. You can work on inhaling, drawing the energy up through the arms and legs. But then on the exhale, remember, meridians flow back down as well. Press out through the hands and the feet. See if you can line the ears up with the inside of the arms. Engage Mula Bandha, seal from the perineum to the navel. Draw the ribs in, open the heart center. Inhale, looking up to your hands. Exhale, big steps, take those feet in. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, Uttanasana, roll the chest in, head follows. Pressing down through your feet, inhale, arms from the side body, Mula Bandha. Look up between the hands. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Utkatasana, squeeze the knees together. Yogi's chair, take a seat. Power the arms up, shoulder blades down the back, pull the ribs in. On your exhale, bring the hands through prayer pose, straighten the legs, roll the head under just at the end. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, you can step if you want to jump, weight down into the hands, bend, come down already lowered. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, draw your right leg straight up behind you. Square the outer hip with the floor. If you want to come higher, onto the ball of the left leg. And then on your exhale, draw the knee in. Pause, nice squeeze for the colon. Plant that foot down between the hands. Turn your back foot to 45 degrees. Heel to heel alignment. Power down into your feet. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Exhale, sink on in, shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, draw back on your right hip. Roll down through the outside edge of your left foot. And on your exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper. You can be looking to the floor if this tests your balance. Otherwise, looking up between those hands, Work the elbows towards each other, shoulder blades down the back. Keep on breathing, inhale. Exhale, release the arms wide down to the side. Go through the vinyasa, plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg behind you, square the outer hip with the floor. Exhale, bend the knee. Draw the foot through between the hands. Turn your back foot to 45 degrees, heel to heel alignment. Ensure that this front knee is over the ankle joint. See if you can keep it there as we press into the feet. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. This is warrior one. You wanna feel warrior energy. Really come into your being, the strength the determination. See where the fingertips point towards the heavens, your ultimate destination to become enlightened. Allow yourself to do a peaceful battle here on the earth plane. Spiritual warrior, inhale. Exhale, release the arms wide down to the side. Level yourself out through plank. No rushing through the vinyasa, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hanging out here and breathing. Finding your alignment, remembering Mula Bandha. Perhaps for those of you who are a little bit more experienced, see if you can sense that upward lift of Uddiyana Bandha. The belly drawing towards the ribs, the corresponding back, moving the kundalini energy upwards through the spine. Shoulder blades are coming down the back. You want to move your shoulders away from your neck as much as you can. When you're ready to move on, inhale, looking up to those hands, 
You can step if you're going to jump, pull back and draw those feet in. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Press down into your feet, squeeze your knees together. Inhale, Utkatasana, ribs back. Come all the way up, length. Exhale. This time, bring the hands down through prayer pose. Samastiti. Inhale, float the arms out from the side body. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ar Uttanasana. Exhale, your choice, step or jump. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg behind us. This time, dog splits. Point the toe. Turn the hip out, let the gaze go to the underside of the right armpit. On your exhale, sweep the leg down, square the hip, bend the knee, draw the foot through between the hands and turn your back foot to 90, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, Trikonasana, grab hold of the ankle, perhaps a little bit higher for some of you, tuck the right hip, lengthen through the spine and plant those feet. As you inhale again, draw the ribs towards the spine, lengthen out of the crown. Exhale, revolve from the navel center. Send that top arm into the sky and perhaps you can look up, see what suits your neck. You certainly want to get a deep twist out of that navel center to cleanse the digestive organs. Breathing here, becoming the three-pointed star of Trikonasana. Learning to harness light, learning to feel safe, shining your light. Breathing, inhaling, look down. Exhale, drop the top hand to the hip, bend and open through the front knee, extend out through your right arm. Use the ends of the fingers to earth down. First balance pose, weight transfers to the right foot. Inhale, step your left leg into the sky, turning the hip out and flexing the foot. You can either choose to stay here, you can bring your left hand down if you want more assistance with the balance, or you're extending the left arm into the sky. For those of you who are working a little bit more deeply today, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, turn and look to that top hand and beyond. Maybe your top leg comes higher. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Keep your awareness in your supported foot, even if you're looking up. Find out where your foundation, your balance comes from, and then reach for that higher light. Keep on breathing. Inhale, look on down, top hand to the hip. Exhale, bend into your front knee. Come back down, left foot, heel to arch alignment. You're going to flow your left arm down and around. Inhale, draw yourself up. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Roll down through the outside edge of the back foot. Work the hips under. Inhale, exhale. Drive the shin bone forward on that right leg. Working on having the knee coming over the ankle joint. Draw back on. The left hip, roll the outside edge of the left foot to the floor. Keep breathing, inhale. Exhale, release from the groin, sink a bit deeper. Power down through your feet when your legs get a little bit tired. Breathe deeper. Warrior two, sense your purpose in life, where you're headed. Inhale, lengthen out of this front leg. Exhale, turn your front foot in. Look down, all your toes are aligned. Inhale, hands to the hips. Open back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Tilt the sitting bones, ground the heels. Hands can either be under your shoulders, bow your head, you can bend your knees. Or hands back in line with the toes. Isometrically work the elbows towards each other and draw the crown down towards the earth. 
continue to breathe. See if you can engage Mula Bandha. Letting go. Beautiful Parutanasana half inversion. Helping to flip our world upside down. See different perspectives. Helping us not to get stuck in a rut. For those of you who are working on your inversions, if you fancy a tripod headstand at this point, inhale. Come part way out of the pose, bend your knees, exhale, step or jump those feet back. Placing the crown down on the inhale, start to lift and exhale, drawing those legs up and towards each other. Keep on breathing. When you're ready to come out, maybe hover through the splits, plant the feet down, coming all the way out of the pose together. Inhale, Mula Bandha, hands to the hips, draw yourself up. On your exhale, bend and open through your front knee, sink down Virabhadrasana 2. Push your back heel away, inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, come down through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same flow on that left side. Inhale, left leg, dog splits. On your exhale, bend the knee, draw the foot through between the hands. Turn your back foot to 90, heel to arch alignment. Flowing through Trikonasana, inhale, front leg straight. Tuck the hip, lengthen through the spine, ground the feet. Inhale. And then exhale, revolve from the navel center. Turn and look to that top hand and beyond. Start to feel your way through your pose. What revelations arise for you as you start to become connected to all the mysteries within yourself? Maybe you want to work a bit deeper, revolve out of the navel centre that little bit more. Be soft, even though you're fully extended. Find that place where the meditation meets the action Effortless effort. Continue to breathe. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, top hand drops to the hip. Bend and open through the front knee and extend that arm away. Ground down through the ends of the fingers. Transfer the weight to this front foot. Inhale, extending your right leg into the sky. Find your option within the pose. Perhaps this top arm comes up. Perhaps you're gazing to the top hand and beyond and maybe that top leg goes a little bit higher. Continue to breathe, awareness in your supported foot, keeping you stable. Beautiful Ardha Chandrasana, drink in the solar energy. The moon illuminated, beautiful, powerful, Emotive pose. Inhale, look down. Top hand to the hip. Bend into your front knee. Lever your back foot down. You've got time. Check for that heel to arch alignment. Your back arm will come through a beautiful arc like a rainbow forming on the inhale. And on the exhale, you're coming into your proud warrior. Warrior two. You want to have a sense of the shoulders and the hips squaring to the side. Aim your front knee for your front pinky toe. You'll feel that energy sweep through the inner thigh meridians, liver, kidney, spleen. Very cleansing. Sink from the groin a little bit more when you feel you can go deeper. Relax as much as you can. 
Inhale, lengthen out of your front leg. Exhale, turn the foot in. Hands coming down onto the hips to repeat Padottanasana or as a variation, squeeze your shoulder blades together, interlace your fingers. Inhale, extend the arms, gaze up. Exhale and fold. We're working with the arms. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, extend the arms away. And then exhale, work on drawing those arms over the head a little bit more. You can try that again. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, extend the arms. And then exhale. See if you can work those arms over that little bit more. For those of you who are working on your tripod, headstand. Release those arms down. Inhale, come part way out of the pose by lifting the heart. Step or jump those feet back. And inhale, take the crown down. Start to lift the heels, engaging Mula Bandha as you exhale and draw the legs up. Continue to breathe. Hold for as long as it feels right for you. When you're ready to come out, Come down, the legs split, maybe hold for a moment, bring those feet down, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, turn your front foot out, sink down, Virabhadrasana 2, push your back heel away, so you're squaring the hips over the front leg, inhale the arms up, and exhale, coming through the vinyasa, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And hanging out here and breathing. Maybe reacquainting yourself with the breath at this point, just to ensure that as you inhale, that energy is pooling through your lower belly. You can harness that energy all the way through to your collarbone. And as you exhale, letting go. And it is possible for those of you who are working with the bandhas to engage Mula Bandha and still get a sense of that breath going deep down into the torso. Really letting go as much as you can. Inhale, we're looking up to the hands. Exhale, step. You can jump those feet in. Inhale, Ar Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Pressing down through the feet. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ar Uttanasana. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg dog split. Exhale, bend that right knee. Gaze into the right armpit. Try and push the mat away with your hands just to ensure that the energy is really flowing through the arm meridians. You can choose to stay as you are. If you're going on, inhale, exhale. Allow the right ball of the foot to come to the floor. Extend out of the right arm. Try and ground the inside of the left foot. Work the hips up, gaze back, inhale. Right hand comes down, pivot, draw that right leg up, exhale, bend the knee, draw the foot through between the hands, pull your back foot in quite a way, heel to heel alignment, back foot at 45 degrees, power down through your feet, inhale, standing upright, right hand to the hip, left arm beside the ear. Work on squaring the hips over the front leg. Really make sure you're tucking down through gluteus medius. 
tucking down and under through that outside middle part of your buttock. On your inhale, send that energy up through the left side of the body. On your exhale, come way forward. Keep lifting your heart, draw your ribs in. Maybe the hands on the inside of the foot. Maybe the hands on the outside of the foot. Press down as you inhale to draw your chest in line with your hips. And on your exhale, revolve. your right arm into the sky. Karita Trikonasana. Top hand drops to the hip. Inhale, come on up. On your exhale, pivot onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, nice length through the left side of the body. Exhale, bend into your right knee. Allow your left foot to slide out behind you until your left leg is straight. Work your left heel down or drop onto your left knee. On your inhale, squeezing your palms together, navel to the spine as you go into a twist. From here, you can look down, you can look back. If you're working on binding, you can manually draw that left wrist back down and under the right thigh. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, taking hold of the hand, gazing back if it suits you. Continue to breathe. When you're working strongly like this, find that place in you that you established at the beginning of the class. Meditative awareness. Stay focused on the breath. Send energy to the body parts you're using. Soften. Be here. Fill up with universal power. Inhale, look down. Exhale, hands either side of the front foot. Draw this leg back. Go through the vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg, dog split. Exhale, bend that knee. Let gravity draw the foot towards the earth. Press the mat away with the hands. Gaze to the left armpit. Breathe. Inhale if you're going on. Exhale, drop on to the ball of the foot. Press the inside of the right foot to the floor. Work down into the right arm. Hips high, extend back, gaze back. Press into that right hand. Inhale, flip back, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, draw the foot through. Pull your back foot in. It's not a wide stance. Heel to heel alignment. Back foot at 45 degrees. Inhale, stand upright. Square the hips over the front leg. Right arm up beside the ear, preparing yourself, grounding your feet. Roll down through the outside edge of the back foot so you've got a good anchor point. Inhale, exhale, come way forward. Tuck down and under through gluteus medius. Hand can be on the inside of the foot or perhaps the outside of the foot. Inhale, press down to draw the chest in line with the hip. As you feel ready to go on, revolve from the navel center. Left arm comes up. Inhale, radiate out of your crown chakra. It'll send the energy along the spine. So as you exhale, you can get a deeper twist for that spinal column. As you release out of the navel center, keep breathing, powering down through your feet, scanning through the body, checking the hips are in line with each other. Top arm, as you gaze up, you wanna see the wrist, elbow and shoulder in one line. Pressing into your feet, inhale, come on up. On your exhale, Turn onto your back foot. 
Inhale, nice length through the right side of the body. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Leg slides out behind you and you want to come into a twist. Remember, you can be on that back knee, no problem at all. If you choose to have the knee up, work the heel down. It's a nice way to get your knee to straighten out. Inhale, navel to the spine. You want to resist your knee and go into a deeper twist. You can gaze down, you can gaze back. Or if you're working on the bind, thread the right arm back under the left thigh. Inhale, left arm up, get the length first. Then start to bind, work down into the feet. As you revolve out, try and bring length through the spine. Slight tuck of the chin towards the chest. It's kind of like all those things we did in Tadasana right at the beginning of the class are still being applied here. Feel. Really work down into the feet for stability. Relax. Seems kind of crazy to relax in such a dynamic pose. But what we learn here on the mat is an analogy for everyday life. When your time is stretched out, when you're twisted in all directions, find your centre, it's still there. Inhale, look down. Vinyasa. Inhale, it's upward facing dog. Exhale, it's downward facing dog. Breathing here and if you want to rest, Come down into half dog, drop onto your knees and then release back to the ears, line up with the inside of the arms. For those of you who are content, remain in downward facing dog. Let go. Coming into Vasistasana, side incline, inhale, and on the exhale, turn onto the side of the left foot and extend the right arm into the sky, pressing down through your left hand to draw the energy along the left arm, choosing to stay here. If you want to lighten it up, just placing your right foot up halfway along the mat. For those who are working a little bit deeper, start to bring this right foot up, taking the heel and then drawing that leg straight. Inhale and exhale. Come back down into downward facing dog. Remember to rest if you need to. Half dog option, dropping onto your knees. Breathing here, letting go. Just preparing yourself for Vasistasana on the right side. Just feel the exhilaration of being able to hold your body weight, support yourself in all ways metaphysically. As we inhale and then exhale, turn onto the side and extend the left arm into the sky, drawing up through that right armpit. Work the hips as high as you can to lighten Bring that left foot through halfway up the mat to take it a little bit deeper. Reach down for your left heel and extend that leg. Inhale, exhale, bring yourself back. Downward facing dog. Let go. Be here. Breathe. Feel. Trust in all you're discovering within yourself any messages that arise from within be sure to act upon them learn to listen to your own intuition as we transition to the floor inhale look up between the hands lift the hips come off the heels exhale step or you can jump your way through to cross legs and extend both legs out. Adjust on to your sitting bones. Your choice of Janu Sasana. Bring that right leg up. 
work the heel into the inner thigh or if you prefer draw the right leg into Ardha Padmasana. Maybe you want a couple of goes to draw that leg into place. Either option, inhale, drawing your arms up, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, coming forward, gazing to the left toes. When you're ready to go deeper, inhale, lengthen out of the spine and work your way a little bit deeper into the pose continue to breathe letting go for those of you who are wishing to go deeper again inhale look on up this right arm can come all the way around binding on to the right toes and folding let go drive out through the left heel the ball of the foot pull those left toes back work the back of the left knee down into the earth inhale come on up and then exhale switching sides you can do Janu Susasana Traditionally, we would take the left foot up into the right groin and then work down into that forward fold. For those of you who want to go on, draw it up into Ardha Padmasana. Remember, a couple of goes here will help you get even deeper into your pose. Inhale, draw your arms up, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale and fold. Look to those big toes. If you sense you can go a little bit deeper, inhale. Almost like you're pulling back on the foot, lengthening out of that spine, reaching forward with an open heart, and then coming down. Try and look out through the top of the eyes there to the big toe. If you're quite deep in the fold. Continue to breathe, soften your shoulders. Have a sense of what forward bend signifies for you metaphysically. It's forward motion. A way to remind yourself here in the present moment that your future is taken care of. Ensure that hope always resides in your heart centre. For those of you who are working a little bit deeper, inhale, come on up. Your left arm can really outstretch before it comes around and you can bind on to the left big toe, come down into your fold, continue to breathe, let go, be soft, feel that energy line that you're working through the back body, we call this bladder meridian, remember to drive out through the right heel, ball of the foot. Hold back on those right toes. Inhale. Come on up. Releasing out of the pose. Coming through the vinyasa. Hands come back. The right leg crosses over the left. When you're ready to come through, the jump through, press the sides of the feet into the earth. Inhale. Hands just in front of the leg. Pick yourself up. Step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, step or jump through. Inhale, look to the hands. Step or jump your way back. Coming into Samokanasana. It's our scissor split, so find where it works for you. We've already run the energy through the underside of the legs. We've prepared ourselves well. Now we want to get this energy moving through the inner thighs. Ensure that you can drive your heels out, pull back on your toes, and there's a backward slant to the feet. For those of you who want to work a little bit deeper, just take one hand behind and draw yourself into the pose. 
When you're ready, inhale, arms are coming up, shoulder blades down the back. Gaze up if you can, exhale, start to work your way forward. You can pause at any time and bow the head down. You may even want to come down onto your forearms, recheck those feet. For those of you who are working a little bit deeper, inhale, lift and open your heart. And then exhale, maybe draw the chin down towards the earth. Breathing here, letting go. Notice where the energy flows. Keep your awareness there. Soften, particularly through the shoulders and the upper back. Work deeper as it suits you. When you're ready to come out of the pose, take the weight off the groin. Inhale, look up. Get that weight going into the hands. Walk your way back. You can manually pick up these legs, draw yourself in, hands go back, the right crosses over the left. When you're ready for a jump through, to work back through the vinyasa, inhale, sides of the feet down, hands in front, exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hang out here and just center yourself in. Breathing, letting go. We're going to go through some options for our crow pose. And you can continue through the options or you can repeat just the first option. Inhale, look on up. Exhale, step the feet in, come down into a squat with the knees spread wide. Set those hands up, turning in slightly so you're exposing the back of the arms. And you want to engage Mula Bandha, give yourself an upward lift already. So you'll know if you need to move those hands a little bit further forward or back slightly. When you're ready to come in, you can either take the knee onto the back of the arm, just above the elbow, and then gradually start to work a little bit higher. So lifting your buttocks, squeezing your knees in, lift one foot and then the other, press down through your hands, breathing and steadying. When you're ready to come out, bring those feet back down, and just stay here, choosing to repeat that first option. If you're going to go on, come into Titibhasana. It's another variation of our crow pose. We'll step those hands out and go back to downward facing dog. Breathe. When you're ready, we're going to step, or maybe jump those hands those feet out and around the hands. Inhale, look on up. Exhale, step or jump. Squeeze the knees into the shoulders. Sit the thighs onto the back of the arms. Press down through your hands. Lift your feet up one at a time. Have a drishti, a gaze spot just in front. Breathe. The more you press into the hands, the more you'll get the upward lift. When you're ready to come back, if you're in crow, go back to your squat. If you're in this version, same thing. Come back to your squat and we'll all be here breathing together. Coming back, downward facing dog. Let's do a reverse vinyasa just to kind of wriggle that body out and keep this sense of flow. Inhale. Melt over the toes, drop the hips, upward facing dog. Exhale, curl the toes under, come down chaturanga, navel to the spine, top of the plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Making your way through the sitting step, or you can jump yourself through 
extending the legs out, final twist, drawing the right foot up just to the outside of the right buttocks. We're going to extend out of the left foot, left ball of the foot, pull the toes back. When you're ready, just holding on to your right leg, start to work into the twist. Inhale, length through the spine, ribs towards the spinal column. When you're ready to twist, release out from the navel center, start to work this right arm back as it suits you. If you're happy to go deeper, left arm comes up, exhale, go in to that twist a little bit deeper. Again, find where you want to work. If you want to bind back, you can. Keep lifting and opening your heart, twisting out from the navel center, breathing. Inhale, bringing your head back, releasing out of the pose. Left foot comes up. Inhale and then exhale. Bring this left arm behind you. Start to work deeper into the twist as it suits your spine. Inhale for those of you who are going on. Right arm comes up. Exhale, going a little bit deeper. You might want to bind that pose. Exhale, releasing out of the twist. Extend your left leg out. Come down, forearm at a time. Releasing all the way down onto your back. Setting yourself up for Shavasana. You may like a pillow under your head and an eye bag across your eyes. Let the feet flop out and the palms turn up and the fingers curl in slightly. Allow your back body to become heavy. Allow that feeling of support from Mother Earth that we established at the beginning of the class. Reconnect. The front body is light. Connection to Father Sky above you, the heavenly realm lifting you up. Bring your awareness to your breath. And the breath need not be so full now, rather observe the blossoming of the belly on the in-breath and the slight contraction of the belly on the out-breath. And as you continue to follow the breath with your awareness, you will give yourself the best opportunity Slip into the gaps between your thoughts. These spaces of pure consciousness. These spaces where your sacred self dwells. Learn to identify with these spaces as your true self. Learn to live from this place of direct knowing, direct intuition. 
leaving behind the ever chattering, ever stressful mind. As you connect to your soul nature more and more through this practice of meditation, your spirit will become the leader in your life, your mind, your servant, as it was meant to be. so that you may use the incredible mind power to make manifest all of your heart's wishes to live a divine existence to spread the love and the joy and the peace we prepare ourselves to come back to the world out there reminding ourselves that part of our awareness can always remain with the world in here so that you may always be attuned to your heart, to your divine knowing. When you're ready, moving the fingers and the toes. Making the breath fuller again. Be aware of the room that you're in. As we roll out to the right hand side, a yogi tradition to roll to the right hand side to ensure that the heart on the left side of the chest sits on top and remains the leading force. When you're ready, make your way back to Sukhasana, cross legs. So you bring your hands into prayer position at the heart chakra. Namaste.